So let's take a look at using scroll bars on your Mac. Now I've got a very large text edit document here and as you can see there's no scroll bar on the right. But if I use my trackpad with two fingers and I go up or down you can see the scroll bar appears there. Not only that I can move my cursor over to the scroll bar after it appears and I can drag it so I can go through the document very quickly. I can also click in the scroll bar say down here and it will jump a whole page or jump up a page. If I move my cursor away from the scroll bar and wait you can see it disappears. But you could change all this if you go into System Preferences and under General there's a whole set of items here just for scroll bars. So for instance you can determine when they show up. Now the top two settings are very similar. Automatically based on mouse or trackpad or when scrolling. Now with my trackpad they're identical. But from what I hear when you have a mouse sometimes having that first setting depending upon the type of mouse you have will mean the scroll bar is always there. But for me when scrolling works the same. Now if you change to always the scroll bar permanently goes there which is how Max used to look a few generations of the OS ago. Um, so you can always see where you're at. Some people like this a lot because the scroll bar gives you an indication of where you're at in the document. For instance if I'm in the middle of the document I can see I'm in the middle of the document. Not only that I can see how much of the document I'm looking at because that is the height of the scroll bar. Whereas if I turn it off you can see I really have no idea. Am I at the middle, the beginning, near the end? I have no idea. So having it set to always is very useful. I also find it very useful when using screen sharing because it's hard to get the scroll bar to appear otherwise. So it's hard to scroll through items using screen sharing. Now your other options here are how to use the space above and below this part of the scroll bar which is called the thumb here. So I can drag the thumb up and down. But when I click below it it will jump one page down or above it it will jump one page up. I can change that behavior to jump to the spot that's clicked. So if I want to jump to the end of the document I can click down there near the end and it jumps to the end. I can jump to the top. I can jump to the middle. I can still click and drag the scroll bar thumb itself to get to where I want. So you have those options. Uh, I like to use the default options when I can of having it set to automatic and jump to the next page. Uh, but I'm using a trackpad on my MacBook and on my Mac Pro so it's very easy for me to use two fingers to scroll. And anytime I want to see where I am in the document I kind of can scroll up and down just a little bit just to see it appear there.